Sports Day in the D, John out here with you. It is two for the price of one at the end of August. Here to give you a full length video review of Yakuza 0 for the PlayStation 4 and PC. And I'm going to do the best I can to give you a full length video review coming from someone that has never played the Yakuza series before. So if you're not familiar with the Yakuza series, it's an action adventure type free roaming game that spans so far six different games and two remakes. This is Yakuza 0, the prequel, the beginning of all the series. If you're going to get into it, I would recommend that this would be the first one that you play. It is 0 and then 1 through 6 and then there is Yakuza Kiwami, which is a remake of 1, and Kiwami 2, which launches this week, which is a remake of Yakuza 2. So, if you're going to play 0, 1, and 2, the prequel, and the first two games in the series, now is the best time to do it. And I believe Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, will be the final game in the series for the character arc for Kazama Kiru. So what you're going to do throughout these two games, there are two protagonists. One is Kazama Kiru that you see here, and then the other one that you will not see in this video review is Goro Majima. And what you're going to see is basically these two guys, one in Kiru that's supposed to be the protagonist that follows his own path that wants to be good for everyone else that lives in the district and his family and everything else in his upbringing. So you're going to go along between the two districts of Kamaracho and Sotenbori which are supposed to be likenesses of Japan to be able to go out and free roam and do stuff that you like. So not only would you do main missions and campaign story arcs, but you can also go into various food cafes, recover energy like River City Ransom style. That's a throwback to the NES days. You can go bowling here. You can play arcade games. You can go into the uh, districts, if you, especially if you play with uh, Majima, that you would go into these cafes, the cabaret clubs, that you can run these cabaret clubs in order to make some money under Club Sunshine. That's a side content. If you're running with uh, Kiru, you can also run a real estate property thing, so you get money to buy real estate properties. You uh, fight out with the other people that are in the district and you use the side quests in the Cabaret Club, Club Sunshine and these real estate properties through Kiru's part in order to unlock a very important uh, legendary battle style that will be known throughout the series especially if you're a Yakuza veteran. So there is a lot to do as far as the side content. If you're going into this game for the first time as I'd recommend play through the story arc have a good time with it and very importantly go through a lot of the side content especially the real estate and the cabaret club stuff and at times it seems like it's very not overwhelming but it's going to take you a lot of time in order to get to the final product but you do make a lot of money and what you use is you turn all of that yen into ways to unlock more uh, health more other activities and more attacks for you to use between all of your fighting styles and as you'll see throughout the game in the fighting you can press anything on the d-pad to switch fighting styles on the fly the only thing with the legendary uh, fighting styles you can access that through the pause menu so all of your fighting styles as you see I'm using brawler right here is you can pick up weapons automatically with the square button on PS4 and use it just to beat the ever-living hell out of anyone else that stands in your way you would have a quick style for Kiryu as well which allows you to chain combinations you're gonna be a little bit weaker but you can dodge and change combinations and then an all-around brawler style as well where you can pick up some weapons you can kinda of do a little bit of everything all around the fighting styles are fantastic and then when you get to Majima's side you get a thug style which is similar to the brawler for Kiryu and then there is a dance style as well where you would do like backflips and kicks and things like that and attack very fast and then there is a, just a baseball bat style that you can use to just beat the crap out of people 
and do whatever you want to do. And not to mention the secret fi fighting styles that are available to you, as I mentioned, after you beat the side content. So what's the story like? You're going to follow around Kiru and Majima as you go through the Kamurocho and Sotenbori districts. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to run into a woman named Makoto Makamura that has an empty plot of land unbeknownst to her. Pretty much the size of a small square. You'd think of the smallest studio apartment that you can ever get in New York or Chicago and downsize that by five. She's left a plot of land unbeknownst to her and within the clans that Kiru and Majima are in, they're all fighting in order to control the whole city and district. And the last piece of land that's there is this empty lot that you see here pretty much. And what they want to do is they want to gather that empty land, gather the control of the entire city and do what they will. And that's about as far as the story goes through Yakuza 0. There's going to be a lot of betrayal, intrigue, killing, plot points, plot twists, and stuff is just going to be an absolutely crazy. And what's an absolute benefit to it is the beautiful fighting system, the absolute fun you can have picking up any weapon, using anything as a weapon, and just absolutely enjoying yourself. So the story predictable at times as far as the main plot point but it is full of intrigue full of action full of uh, cutscenes and really good Japanese voice acting and writing the uh, cutscenes in the videos are absolutely fantastic I don't really see a lot of videos and stuff nowadays but it seems like the team at Sega and the team behind Yakuza have done an exceptional job to probably make this, and what I've heard a lot of people see, say in message boards and all that, the best game in the series. And I really believe it. I've gone through it, like I mentioned, this is a good game in the prequel and Zero to start at the very beginning to learn how Kiru and uh, Goro Majima have gotten their upbringings and how everything else works. And it's set in Japan in 1984, I believe. So you're going to see... Uh, big cell phone, city nightlife, some of the other stuff like that where there's some nods to VHS and beta tapes and stuff like that. There are uh, basically uh, call centers that you can go and talk to girls. There's just like so many different things that you can do. So enjoy the nightlife, enjoy the side content, play all that stuff to your heart's content. The main story arc, I would assume, and what I've gone through, I believe, is about 20 to 25 hours. If you're skipping some of the cutscenes and all of that that are available to you, I suggest that you do not. But if you do that, it might be a little less. But I am not exaggerating when I say that my final playtime through Yakuza 0 getting about roughly 75% through it, so I've beaten the entire game and beaten most of the side content, got me around 100 hours. This is a long game, and as I mentioned previously, only despite maybe a little bit of the real estate stuff on the side, or the cabaret club stuff on the side, that it might get a little daunting in terms of the amount of time you use, and maybe a tad boring, but that's the stuff that you kind of need to go through. Other than that, everything else that you do in this game is an absolute blast. And it's just fun to see a different type of game, a different type of story and setting and an intrigue that hooks you from the beginning and never lets you go all the way through the end. And the ending is a conclusion of that which you can tell that there are multiple games in the series but it doesn't leave anything on the sour note by the time you get to the end. If anything, you might be wondering, depending on your age and when you play this, is how soon can I play the next game or holy crap I don't have enough time to go into the next game because I can't play another hundred hour game. Be that as it may, as I've seen throughout my travels throughout going to several game stores and that when I picked up Yakuza 0, it's been out I think since 2017, and when I picked it up 
uh, just a couple of months ago here, I would say maybe June, I got it for $17 used. Kiwakami is $20 new, so probably $16, $17 used for that if you go through zero and one. It might be a little bit of a step back from Kiwakami from zero just because it's a remake of the first game. But the uh, Kiwakami 2 that actually comes out this week at the end of August is supposed to be a supremely good game. So if you kind of go through 1 and 2, you can go through that when you get a chance. Or if you hold off a little bit, you could probably get this entire series from what I know right now in 0, 1, and 2, and then 6 that's already out. You could get 4 really good games theoretic theoretically for around... 50 bucks all combined if you wait just a little bit for a Kiwakami 2 to go down in price point so this is a series from what I've seen right now as I mentioned that has a ton of side content to do an incredible story characters that you're going to care about something that's really powerful uh, voice acting high quality cutscenes uh, very intrigue into the writing and the story and the side content. Let me be honest with you guys, I played through the majority of the side content and some of the content and some of the dialogue that I have seen in there made me laugh out loud several times. And I, don't, I haven't remembered the last time I played a game and actually laughed out loud because the writing was so good and so believable and some of that stuff was just funny. The game doesn't take itself too seriously at times, and that's a great thing. And it gives you pretty much everything you can think of under the sun as far as uh, combinations, as far as you can fight, as far as the uh, weapons and types you can use. There are a million different people to uh, befriend here. That way you can take them on uh, other side content with you you can use them to unlock other powerful stuff you can just play arcade games if you want to play super hang on outrun space harrier some of the classic sega games you can go in there and play uh you know claw games get stuffed animals you can you can do a, a million different things in this game and that's not an exaggeration so if there's ever something that you get bored from in the main story arc or you just want to break you want to take time to explore the scenery and smell the roses so to speak Yakuza 0 offers you every opportunity in the world to do that and it does it with the utmost care it's almost unbelievable that a game like this comes out and at a price point that it is as it also is right now under the PlayStation Greatest Hits whether you play Zero or uh, Kiwami 1 right now at $20 it's something I couldn't recommend more to anyone out there now it is M for Mature for a reason there are some things in the game that you would pause but considering uh, a lot of the parents out there and the kids get their hands on Grand Theft Auto 5 and some of the stuff I reviewed several years ago it's not something you know much worse than that on the side of it so I still would recommend that if you're a person of age that you would play it first but I recommend this is a game that you do not pass up and if you're a first time entrant like me into it Yakuza 0 is a wonderful place to start I'd be interested to know what you think this is John Ott signing off for the review of Yakuza 0 have a uh, great night, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed the review of these two games. I look forward to playing Dragon Quest XI when it comes out. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.